What's going on guys and girls? What's going on? It's Monday. I don't know what to call this Monday. It's a lot of trouble going on in this Monday, man. I've had a lot of issues today, but you know what? It's all good. We worked through it. So now I'm going to take a few minutes to uh, give you guys a tutorial on the joystick, which actually is the most important operation I would say one of the most important tools in front loader driving and operations. So anyway, there are two types that I know of that I, we use in this area is the McNeilis body and the Heil body. As you all know, my truck, my Max, got a Heil half pack front loader body, okay? So the Heil half pack means the blade only goes back halfway. It's not a full extension. It doesn't push it all the way to the end. It only pushes it halfway, okay? To get the rest of the garbage out of my truck, I have to raise the body. That's why it's called a Heil half pack, okay? So on the Heil half pack, the joystick is different setup than a McNeilis joystick, okay? For example, mine, okay? If I want the forks to go down, with the help of I turn on the PTL. First of all, mine is an X pattern, okay? It's corner to corner, 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 okay? So, on a how body, if I want my arms to come up, I go to the bottom left corner, pull back. If I want my arms to go down, top right corner, go down. It's just the opposite corner. That's all it is. Up, down, up, down. So, needless to say, to operate the forks, you're gonna to go to the top left corner to pull the forks out. The bottom right corner, you're going to fold the forks back in, okay? Top left corner, forks down. Bottom right corner, forks fold in. And it's just getting used to remembering, okay, what truck you're in and what body you're using. Because a lot of times if my truck breaks down, I gotta use a McNeilis body. So that means I gotta remember which way the joystick operates. Because you don't wanna have a box up in the air and now you're thinking, okay, which way uh, should I move the joystick? No, you don't want that. You gotta be sure of what you're doing. You gotta know which one it is and what input you need to put into the joystick to move that box whatever way you wanna move. So like I said on mine, it's corner to corner. Corner to corner. Now, if I had a McNeilis body, it's simple. It's a cross pattern. You go straight up, forks down, straight back, forks up. Okay, in order to do the, I mean, the McNeilis, if you go straight, straight, the forks go down, straight back, the forks, uh, the arms come up. And the opposite on the uh, McNeilis, if you want the forks to fold, it's left, right, left, right, left, right for the forks, okay? Left, right, left, right. You see it's not working on the high because it's a totally different setup. So on the McNeilis, it's the cross pattern. That's what I call it, the cross pattern. In order to move the forks, in order to move the arms on the McNeilis body, Straight down, straight back. Straight down, straight back. To move the forks on a McNeilis body, it's left, right, left, right, okay? Because on mine, like I explained, there's two different patterns, and it's easy to remember. One is the X, one is the cross. Mine, as you can see, is the X. Top left corner, fold the forks down, 
bottom right corner, fall the forks back. It's the opposite corner. Opposite the opposite corner, okay, for the forks. You want the arms down, up, down, up, okay? It's just something you're gonna get used to. It's like everything else. If you're so used to driving a high body like me and then you get into a McNeilis body, it's just remembering the pattern. It's not that hard, really. Honest to God, it's really not that hard. Maybe I'm making it sound uh, worse than what it is, but it's not. It really is not. And then you got your functions, your control panel over here, okay? This big red button, system power. The power of the system. Now everything works. I can push the blade back. I can work my forks. I can raise the tailgate, do whatever I want. But when you hit that button off, nothing works. It kills everything, okay? So power on the system. And now if I want, if I got just off the can and I want to pack the garbage to the back, okay? You hit the green button. See where it says pack? Okay? If I want to bring the blade back, it says retract. Bring the blade back. And always, always, always make sure on a front loader, you bring that blade all the way back. Because if you don't and you forget, you're going to dump all that garbage in front of the blade and you're going to be pissed. Because now you got to go back to the yard, clean all that stuff out, and then come back to where you started. And let me tell you something, it's not fun. It happened to me once, okay? I will never ever try to do that again because it sucked. So always remember to bring that blade back before you dump the can. There's a lot of trucks, a lot of new trucks that have sensors on them that let's say the can is right about here. It will not let you bring the forks up any higher until you bring that blade forward, okay? My truck used to work like that, but the sense, something happened with the sensors, something happened, it doesn't work anymore. Even, even with my truck, even with my truck, if this side door, if this side door was unlatched, okay? If this was unlatched, was open, nothing would work. Because this right here is called a proximity sensor. You see where the handle, okay? If this is not touching that, it's gonna stop everything. It's not gonna work, okay? It's just not gonna work. If the roof door is closed in the closed position and you go to dump a box, it's gonna stop right here. It's not gonna let you dump that box because the roof door sensor is t sensing that the door needs to be open. And there's also a light on in the control panel that tells you, yo, there's something wrong. My red light is telling me the top door is closed. It needs to be open. Also, another thing about the operations of a truck is number one, you know my number one rule. Forks, forks, you gotta make sure there's nothing overhead before you dump that can. Make sure there's no wires, no trees, no nothing over your head before you go ahead and dump that can. Number two, after you dump, you have to make sure these pens are locked in. If these pens are not locked in and you start packing the truck, guess what's gonna happen? The tailgate's gonna open and now you're screwed. There's no way to close it unless you go back to the yard and redump the truck. Okay, that's number two. That's two important things. Watch over your head, make sure that tailgate is closed and number three, for me, the most important is make sure that blade is all the way forward before you dump that can. If you dump that can in front of that blade, you're not going to have a good day. So now the other operations uh, also, that's why the bar is across here so you don't hit them by accident. Because for me, I have a high body. A Heil half pack. This one has body raise, body lower. You won't find that in a McNeilis because the body does not go up and down in a McNeilis body. Only on a Heil, okay? The McNeilis body is what they call a full eject. 
that means the pistons go all the way to the tail and push the garbage all the way out, all the way to the end of the truck. This one here is the tailgate. It's all marked for you. It's just that when I do my truck, I have to do it in order so you remember step by step by step, step A, B, C, and D, and do the reverse after you're done dumping. This way you won't forget anything. Here is the tailgate open, tailgate close, tailgate raised, tailgate lower, top door open, top door close, okay? Now down here on the bottom, is your top door warning light. So if that top door is closed, that red light's gonna come on and tell you, yo, listen, the top door is closed. We need to open it so you can dump the can. This one here tells me that the lift uh, is above the cab in transit. That means you need to bring it down level, like right here or up here, but you need to take it down. This one here is the one you do not wanna see flash and that is tailgate open. Okay, this is tailgate open. This one here is telling me filter bypass. There's actually a long filter, a long tube filter in the hydraulic tank that needs to be changed every so often. So if the filter is having an issue, it will tell you filter bypass, and then you can go direct to bypassing the filter and still work the controls to pack the blade. Over here I have my hopper, work lights, I have one on the roof, 